All right, let's go through real quick. All right, so everybody has the uh, the software in your mailboxes. Um, should be an easy install for everybody. It seems like you guys and gals got that installed. Good job. Um, let's go over what we have in the room so you know what we're going to have going forward. I, I don't have long time frames in the room. I have shorter time frames for our um, our arrow trade when the moving average is crossed. It's a very simple, easy way to get into the market. I'm going to go over that in this video. I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, to watch for this morning and today, and um, we'll get rolling that, on that uh, this morning. Um, we have the market profile set up to the left. This will be your profile chart to the left. The template's already set up for you. You got your trend filter built in already. Uh, obviously, we're in an uptrend in crude this morning, uptrend in crude. And so uh, we'll look for uh, MA crossovers, pullbacks. Uh, right when it crosses over, look for a first pullback on your long-term uh, and short-term um, charts over here. Now I have my, I have a six sim Rinko bar set up here for you. This is six sim, and then half of that's three over here. It's a very short time frame over here. The short time frame, I wouldn't even play with the arrows at all unless I get a moving average cross, and then I look for a first pullback arrow. Um, it was on fire yesterday. So we'll, I'll show you how to do that in one second. When you get a MA cross and then you get a pullback first arrow, look for a uh, market delta below confirmation. So what we're going to do, I'll show you yesterday. Yesterday's trade was this. Here's an easy way how to trade the system. So here's a longer term chart where you don't get a lot of signals. This is your main chart to trade off of. This is a 6 sim uh, that you can trade off of uh, with the MA cross. If you get a cross like yesterday, here's yesterday's trade. If you get a cross on the trend filter here, you're going to look for the first error retracement. And that's going to be your signal to look for negative market builder right there. Now, the best ones are going to have the um, the best ones are going to have your uh, reversal bar with the arrow. You can see this one had it and this one had it. I mean it's not red, it's not green, it's a thin vertical line that's an indecision between buyers and sellers, and you want to see that with the arrow, very high probability trade. So if it's hard downtrending too, I don't mind on the long-term time frame, you taking trades like this on a longer-term chart like this. I don't like taking them on the threesome, the, I'll show you in a second, the shorter time frame, there's too many signals. What the threesome allows me to do though, when I do get across, is that first retracement to get in. I don't like taking signals after the first retracement on a shorter time frame. I only look for the first retracement, but you'll get multiple entries during the day on multiple markets. Um, if you're in an uptrend, same way. Uptrend here, you can see we had an MA cross right here. You'll treat it the same way. If you get an MA cross on a longer time frame, we had a nice buy the day before. The first pullback is going to be your best arrow on this time frame, and that's your entry right there. So these will be your two best entries right there on crew going forward in the live room. And this works on all markets. Okay, and like I said, it's a six sim. Um, if you want to go to like a, if you have the program, you want to play with it this weekend and go to like a nine sim and look for less signals, that's fine. The trend filler is built into this already. You, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to talk it on what Gerald sent out. You, got, you, you do have to change one thing, and I'll make sure you guys understand that. I want you to change this to 16. Make sure this is 16. The swing ticks is 16 on the 6 and 3. Change that to 16. It comes as a 25 default. Uh, 25, you'll get less arrows. Um, so you get less arrows with 25. You get more arrows with 16. Um, so uh, you can default that. You can leave it at 25 if you get less arrows. But I like it at 16 to get more swings. Okay, that's the only thing you have to change. Everything else, all the swing indicators pre-programmed already. You have to mess with these numbers up here at all. So let me change those. This is the only variable you can change for less or more. Uh, swings in the market. I leave it at 16 to do my uh, on a 6M on, on many markets to look for the first uh, arrow. Remember, these arrows will uh, will pop. They will pop, guys and gals. They'll fire at a sweet spot in the market. So the day before, uh, I mean, two days ago, this really nice long trade here. When that when when you get a MA cross, you're gonna look for the first arrow buy. So that's your first buy. Your stop is going to be two ticks below the swing low after the close of that arrow. And your stop loss in this trade would be two ticks above the swing high on the close of this arrow. Both 
you can see caught both trends in the market both days. Today we have no signals yet. We have no signals yet today. Uh, as of yet, we do have GDP coming out in about three minutes. So we'll watch that chart. Let me go over this before news comes out. Let's go over a smaller time. In a smaller time frame, you get a lot more signals. Okay, if you do a smaller time frame, you're going to get a lot of signals coming up. So what you want to do though is, is uh, for example, here's an afternoon trade. Right here was your MA cross. You know, there's your the 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 uh, the market was in a downtrend already. So I like taking this with the trend of the market. So if I get across here. And I see a buy signal in the downtrend like this. I won't even mess with that. I'll wait till it matches up with my overall trend in the market with my uh, market profile. So I won't even play with that. And my trend was down, so that's going to be a shorter time frame. And you can even take the ones uh, here and here if it's uh, if it's matched up with the reversal bar. If it's hard trending down, and these it was a hard trending market down on as far as that goes with the trend filter. But I wouldn't play with the ones. The, the, the more you get into a trend, you can see you get chopped up here a little bit on the shorter time frame. I wouldn't play with it. I want you to try to get used to the first MA cross on the shorter, longer time frame on the first one. That's going to be your best one to go because, you know, right, right here is a great example. We got below. We retested. Here's a reversal bar. This is a huge short in the morning yesterday. That's going to be your best one. I want you to get close. I, if, if you start playing with the ones that get what, down here, when we're flat, you're, you're going to get chopped up. So the first cross, that's why that, uh, that, uh, that, that MA in there for you, right here, the first cross, again, that's a high probability trade, you know, at 9 o'clock. Here, in the morning, at 7 o'clock in the morning, that's a high probability trade. The market is actually uptrending right there. You start getting late in the tooth and start getting these ones that are already after the cross, you're going to get stopped out. So. That's how I want you to trade the system. It works on all markets. It's very accurate. Um, so we want to use those. I have a six and a three. Like I said, you want to have a, move, uh, a market profile confirmation uh, for your setups. Make sure you have the market profile confirmation for your setups uh, to pop you in the trade. Okay? And that's how we trade the system. So, you, you, like I said, you can do a five. Uh, this is a six and a three. Uh, gold. Go over to gold, Gerald. Gold, gold same way. It's a five and a three. The gold you treat the same way. I had a huge short yesterday in gold. This was over a thousand dollar trade, and you risk right around seventy dollars. You only risk around seventy dollars stop for a thousand dollar trade yesterday at two o'clock. And gold, if you look at Jerry over on gold, buddy. Thanks, man. All right, here's your first retracement. Gold's in a downtrend. I don't want you to play with these late in the tooth right here. I mean, they still work with the trend filter. I want you to get on this guy right here. That's the guy I want you to jump on as far as that goes. Okay, the first retracement, short, or jump on a first retracement buy. You come through, it's in a mild uptrend, that's your first retracement buy. These are going to be our highest probability trades in all markets. That first one that gets through, here's a short. So, you know, those are going to be real nice. Now, what I am doing, I am putting I, I'm, on our next upgrade, it'll be about a month from now or three weeks from now, is that. I'm getting rid of all these other arrows uh, and with, with just the MA cross first arrow retracement sell or buy because that's a sweet spot in the market and these will only show up and I'll have an audible alert for you on that also. Okay, that'll be a uh, free upgrade that I'm doing for you for that strategy. Now there's three, there's only three ways that we get into the market. There's only three ways. Okay, we got market profile entry right now, right? Buying low value area right now with positive market delta. You got the MA cross. You got the MA cross in the direction of overall trend. Okay, so you got that. And then we have the uh, um, uh, we 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 have the overall long term uh, uh, trend with overall uh, long term overall trend with arrows. And then you can also do the rejection trades. Rejection trades. I went over. I'll do a video on next week. Those are those are if the market's hard trending down and you have a buy arrow that pops up, we don't buy that. We wait for that low to be broken, retested, then we get in positive or negative market delta with the overall trend. And that's how we're going to trade the system all year. It'd be a real neat way how to do it. We want market profile confirmation though. Market profile confirmation's got to get us in the trade. We need to confirm. If it falters and we get in market profile, positive market delta, 
And then all of a sudden the next one is negative mark of delta down here on crude. Let's look at crude drill. If it, if it falters on crude and we get a negative mark of delta on the next couple bars, you want to take a small loss or small profit and wait for the next arrow or the next mark, market profile trade. Okay, because you do not want to play around if market delta is not going to go in the direction of your trade.